We have a right triangle whose this side length is 5 units and this side length is 12 units. Then we have a semicircle inscribed inside this triangle in such a way that one corner of this semicircle, it at this vertex of the triangle and this side of the triangle, touches the curved part of the semicircle at exactly one point. Our job is to find the area of this semicircle. So, can you solve it? What could be our starting point? Okay, as a first step, assume the center of this semicircle will be somewhere here on this side of the triangle. Now let the radius of this semicircle be labeled as R. So this will be R, and if we draw this radius from center to this point, then it will also be equal to R. Now think what we need. At the very least, we can try to find the hypotenuse because we all know about the Pythagoras theorem and see always try to use it as soon as we see a right triangle. So, consider this right triangle. If this is of length 5 units and this is 12 units, then what will be the length of the hypotenuse which we label as h? Yes, right. It will be h equals square root of 5 square plus 12 square or 25 plus 144 or square root of 169, which is 13th. So, the hypotenuse is of length 13 units. Great. Now what else can you see? Think harder. Let me tell you about a theorem of tangent and radius. A tangent to a circle, or a line that just touches the circle at one point, is always perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of contact. So what will be this angle? Correct. It will be at a right angle. Noise. So we can observe that something is cooking up here because we can again use Pythagoras' theorem on this right triangle. For that, we have this side length in terms of r. Then, if this is 12 units and this part is of length r, then this piece will be of length 12 minus r, isn't it? We just need this length. We know this is 13 units, but that alone would not give anything. We might need the length of this piece so that we can then find the length of this side of the triangle. For that, we will now look at a theorem called Two Tangents Theorem. If two tangents are drawn to a circle from a single external point, then these tangents will always be equal in length. So, for our case, this point C acts as the external point through which we have these two sides as the tangent to this semicircle and therefore this piece will be equal to the length of this side. Since this is 5 units, therefore this will also be equal to 5 units. Therefore this will be equal to 13 minus 5 or 8 units. Yippee! Everything is super duper easy now. Use Pythagoras' theorem here to get 8 square plus r square equals 12 minus r whole square. Expand this to get this. Oh look! r square will get cancelled, and we will be left with this. And thus r equals 80 over 24, which simplifies to 10 over 3, and that's it. This problem was super cool. So good!